This is the town of Potsdam, New York, way up in the northern tier of the state, just 17 miles from the Canadian border. Potsdam is the home of both the Clarkson University as well as the State University of New York, Potsdam, more commonly called SUNY Potsdam, which is the reason behind why we have come to this quaint little town. We are here to take a long overdue walk down memory lane. A quarter mile down Pierpont Avenue, one finds the Potsdam campus. You're looking at Satterley Hall, which fronts on Pierpont Avenue and is topped with the school's iconic clock tower. Satterley is one of the older campus buildings. The school was founded way back in 1816. Let's see what it looks like inside. which gives this alumni a chance to once again walk the halls and corridors of her alma mater. Exiting Satterley Hall out onto the quad, two plaques adorn the walls of the portico. The first one honors the 207 so-called Boys of Potsdam Normal School which was one of the earlier names of the university who served their country during World War I. The second commemorates the students and teachers that served in World War II, including the nine that lost their lives in that conflict. As I pan right from Satterley Hall here in the quad, Flag Hall comes into view. That's the Crumb Library the center of the academic complex, which contains the Lafayette Learning Commons. In the distance behind the trees is Carson Hall. Another nice view across the quad. Here's Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom, who looks directly at the Barrington Student Union. We've moved to the opposite side of the Crumb Library, and the building with all the antennas on top is Raymond Hall. And to the right is Merritt Hall. This is the Knowles Dormitory Building. Behind the camera is Bowman Dormitory, and in the distance is the Student Union. The Barrington Student Union is where the cafeteria, bookstore, meeting rooms, as well as other facilities are located. Over on the left in the distance behind the Student Union is the old Van Heusen Dormitory Building. No longer a dormitory, today it's where the campus police and student counseling services call home. Let's walk over and take a look inside the Thomas M. Barrington Student Union Building, which has the cafeteria and the bookstore, but we'll come back to the bookstore later. We're back outside in the commons between the Crumb Library and Merritt Hall which features these three stone sculptures, simply called three columns. They're right in the center of the common. More recently, brick pavers were added to form the walkways and a paved area around the columns, all of which was part of the university's bicentennial celebration.
we moved over to Carson Hall, where we found another piece of art. Or maybe it's simply a class project to make a geometric shape. The sign says this is an example of an icosahedron, a 20-sided polyhedron. Exactly why this is here, I do not know. Here's a nice view of Brainerd, Satterley, and Flag Halls, as well as the school's clock tower. In the quad in front of the library is the sculpture entitled Books. The Potsdam campus is absolutely charming. Beautiful, really. Let's go back over to the Student Union, where we can peruse through the school's bookstore and see if we can find any nice Potsdam clothing to take back home. Success! All right, tell me how you enjoyed your trip back to the glory days of Potsdam 40 years ago. It was fun. I wish I had my buddies here with me. That would be even more fun. But it was great to come back and see it again after 40 years. I enjoyed it. Who are your buddies? Janice, Sherry, Rick, Yak. There's a whole bunch of them. And so ends this wonderful, nostalgic trip down memory lane.